And you might hurt some, hurt some feelings with this one. Oh. Who's worse? Oh, no. <laughs> the COVID realtor with no experience. Okay. Or the traumatized realtors like myself who made it through the last recession. <laughs> Who's responding worse in this environment? Oh, um, I think they're both equally. <laughs> they're equally stunned. Yeah. Um, I would say the new agents coming in might actually have an advantage only because. You think so? Yeah, only because they don't have a set expectation of what this market is supposed to be like. Like the two years. Uh, we got people still going through their five stages of grief, mm -hmm. <laughs> mourning the loss of that type of market, even those who hated it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and even those realtors who have say say have had their license since 2015, they have the set expectation of what the market should be like. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're coming in new, like you said, you came in 2007, which by many standards would be a horrible time. <laughs> Yeah. But yet, look at you. You're still here. You like cut your teeth on a, on a tough market. Right. So many agents coming in today, they just get in there. They're excited. They're optimistic. That feeds into the clients. They're going to be optimistic as well. And um, and you might find that these people are, do it even even better. Yeah. Possibly or not or not. We I don't mean, know. I think we should probably if there's a way that you guys can pull this data right. Like mm -hmm. you know, who's better? The realtor has been licensed since 2020, or the realtor has been licensed before 2007. <laughs> um, as far as negotiation, right? As far as like list price to sales, uh, sales price to original listing price. Mm -hmm. I'd be curious to see this statistic. Cause, oh, okay. Right? Because we have uh, mm -hmm. Matthew Potter, right? He's here with us over at Real, and he's working with you know, Tricon. Mm -hmm. And he is just steamrolling these agents. And getting these What's outlandish. Tricon? Tricon is the uh, biggest fund, I think, that's still buying oh, right now. okay. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's like, they're just kind of like rolling over. So... And he's, mm -hmm. in his experience, it's those that have been licensed for less than two years where, you know, mm -hmm. this hasn't sold in a week. Yes. Um, so I would say that the agents that have only ever seen the last two years probably don't have the experience of all of the different marketing tools and mm -hmm. patience of having a listing for longer than a week or two or now a month. And um and maybe not might not have that negotiations because for we've been selling for over list price for so long yeah. they haven't had to deal with negotiations under list price. All you had to say was like, is that the best offer you can make? Yeah, right, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. They're like, you're gonna have to go higher than that. But yeah, but now they're looking at okay, now you got to prep your seller for we're gonna have two price reductions probably. Mm -hmm. You're then you're gonna get below. You know, right now we're running at about two to three percent below your last list price mm -hmm. as your final price and you're most likely going to have a concession with the median concession right now being six thousand dollars yeah so, so realistically we're going to suffer 90 percent of our final list price not mm -hmm. the original list price so two, two to three percent less than our yeah. final list price and probably six maybe seven thousand or more mm -hmm. in concessions and pretty much if you're still listed by feb uh, by december expect to have a big wave of lowball offers <laughs> <laughs> offering to close in a week yeah. for way lo less than you want all right, so. so if you're an investor, December is the time. Uh, well, yeah, I would say um, for those kind of entities that do like to have, you know, fourth quarter results in terms of sales. So you're looking at builders. Uh, you might be looking at iBuyers as well that they're, I would expect them to have a little bit of a push towards the end of the year to try to get as many properties sold as they can. So you may see some incentives come out. Got it. Uh, so right